97.7 WCTY. We're back and with me, Bruce DePriest, Chief Meteorologist at WFSB Channel 3 in the Weather Center. Hi, Bruce. This is Jesse, 97.7 WCTY. How are you? Good. I'm doing okay. You know, Nassau has a good sight on it. Uh, when the moon sets around 3 o'clock in the morning, that's when we'll start to see our best viewing, so there won't be any moonlight that's interfering with it. It'll be like 100, 100 per hour. That could range anywhere from 60 to 200. Oh. It's supposedly some old constellation that's uh, extinct. The quadrant. I'm wondering, in, in Connecticut, though, where, where in the sky would we look? Bottom of the handle of the Big Dipper is where it should be the radiant. So looking northeast before sunrise, and if you look for the Big Dipper and you look at the end of the handle, that is basically where they're going to radiate from. People can really easily identify the Big Dipper. Sure. And if you look at the end of the handle, not the pan, the, the, the handle, then if you follow that handle down... Cool. And we're yeah. talking 2, 3 yep. o'clock in the morning. Yeah, 3 o'clock is probably going to be the best, you know, between 3 and dawn, simply because you're losing the moonlight at that point in time. And I think that's pretty much the best time. You know, I'd say 4 or 5 in the morning will probably be some of the best times to look at it. Uh, closer to when people are actually waking up. <laughs> exactly. And it's a one-shot deal. It's one night only. And then, then they're gone. Yeah, and it's supposed to be uh, some of the best of 2012. Yeah, yeah. Kind of gets overshadowed by the Geminids and the uh, Leonid meteor shower. I think that they say it could be anywhere from 60 to 200 an hour, on average about 100 per hour, which, you know, that's pretty pretty spectacular. That is. Me, I'm going to be in La La Land. I'm not going to be out there in the uh, 10 degrees looking for meteors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was saying on the air earlier, if you have a skylight window, you're all set. <laughs> exactly. There you go. Got to have a big one, though. Yeah, check out the NASA website and also skyandtelescope.com. They usually have good stuff in there, too. Like, you know, they'll have a little section in there called the uh, Night Sky at a Glance, and it's pretty informative. Cool. Thank you very much. You're, you're very welcome. Okay, take care. Have a good night. You, too. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Chief Meteorologist Bruce Dupreeze from the WFSB Channel 3 Weather Center will be back right after this.